Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming at you right after the break. So almost ready to get underway and getting to start Shohei Otani. What should we keep an eye on here. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming on the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. The pitch. Luis oh. Rangifo, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And a 1-0. Swings through that one. I got a ball, one strike. Towards first, into the outfield, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Here's Trout. There's a strike. Otani, the former MVP, he throws a slurve. A four seamer, a cutter, a splitter, and he works in a sinker. Next pitch ball, way one upstairs. Rangifo gets his lead at first. Nobody out. The 1 1 is fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker, get that front foot down. Stays alive. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. Nobody out. Runner at first. Roll the short, could be two. Betts whips it to first on the run. Got him on the off-balance throw. One out in the top of the first. All right, let's take a look at the Angels' lineup. They're dealing with a top-level arm of the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, Outside, get him moving ball. off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. And a foul ball. One out, the runner at second, and we're just getting started here in the top of the first. And a foul ball. Popped in the air, left field. And there are two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front that shoulder right coming right. open instead right. of staying closed. If he does right. that, he's going to be able to go up Ooh. the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. 
Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Angels. On the corner for a strike. It's 0 and 1. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. This one smoked out to left. And a base hit. Bring Hifo around third. And they'll score first. It's one zip. Picks himself up in RBI. Solid swing from start to end. On time with everything. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. Anthony Rendon making his way to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Close nope. one. Does it get the call? One and, one. and the count is one and one. Next offering is foul back. Two outs. Great. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now a 1-0 ball game. Back here at Dodger Stadium, getting the nod in this one, Patrick Sandoval. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. We go to the bottom of the first, Leading and up. at the plate for the Dodgers, Mookie Betts. Mookie. Betts is definitely one of those guys that excels at everything he does, Boog. In terms of baseball, he can do it all. He's won World Series, batting titles, oh, gold gloves, it. and everything else you can think of. And that one clips the corner. One and one. And down to an one. Good slider down and in can yeah, be so balls. hard to one get strike. on plane with. You're better off taking that pitch. Hey. And that is in for a strike. And now to a two. Yeah, and Mookie okay. takes. That one oh, off the inside edge. You walked him. Now, this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give Freddy up walks in the pass, and it's an issue once That's again early on. Freddie Freddy Freddy Freeman up to the dish. Freeman. First oh, offering, and it just misses. Rudder at first with no outs here. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Gigantic blast. It's 2-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. When you have a team that hits home runs at such a high rate, they can get back in the ball game so quickly. That's why that leadoff walk was extremely costly. And up to the plate is Will Smith. 
Hey. And that's in there for strike one. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Into the dive, and he got it! Just a great job of concentration there as he leaves the that ground to go airborne to make a diving catch. Nah. That's a tough play, but he got the job done. And now it's Max Muncy. And the first pitch misses for ball one. one and oh. One down, base is empty. Nope, that's inside. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. Two and oh to Cal. Here it comes. There's a strike. In today's game, not that many fastball counts, but hitters still in the back of their minds. They're looking for one. 2 0 changeup call right there. Excellent pitch selection to go with. Kicks and fires. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. One gone runner at first. James Outman, the next to hit. Ball. Pitch misses. Ball one. And now the lefty. And that one fouled off. And a 1-1. One -one. And ball another three. ball. 2-1 the count now. He hasn't seen a fastball yet, but you've got to be ready to hit one because you doubt the pitcher wants this to go to a 3-1 count. Kicks and deals. Ground ball left side could be two. Neto to second. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. Two run shot for the Dodgers this inning. And this is now a 2 1 ball game. Back here Mickey in Mickey. L.A., here's the left fielder, Mickey Moniak. Otani back to work. Ball. Ball one low. And that's, that's down and away. Gary Simmons has the plate duty in this one. Well, with Simmons, it's not always your standard strike zone boog. It kind of gives a little extra in some parts of the zone and then can be tighter in others. But I think the important thing is he doesn't get labeled as inconsistent. So you got to stay ready up there. I got three and oh. That misses the zone. Ball three. Yeah, one of those umpires, you just have to know what to expect, right? Exactly. Pitch in for a strike, three and one. Three one, and he couldn't come up with it. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted at first base with a quick free pass. Logan O'Hoppy will hit next. Swinging a foul back. That's out of play.
That one finds the zone. And the count is 0-2. Yeah, we call that key hold. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. And the 0-2. Ball one there. One ball, two strikes. Good chase that time. At the belt and fires. Knocks that one away and we'll do it again. And he deals. And now it's three and two. The Halos trailing by a run here at the top of the second. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. Nolan Shonowell, the next to hit for the Angels. He's someone that really beats up on right-handed pitching. The lefties, however, give him a little bit more trouble. All ones the count. for a knock they get it in quickly so first and second now one out he was all over that yeah, yeah, couldn't yeah. get any air under it but he smoked that yeah. ball back up the yeah. middle timing was just perfect got great wood on it and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it and next for the angels Zach Neto hey. that one finds the zone strike one Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Cold night tonight, Krug, and that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creep it into my mind right now. And that one is lifted in the air. Brings it in. Two down. The batter of the team, second base. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. How many times have we seen an early at bat change the course of a game? It happens every night in baseball, and maybe it happens again here. That one's in there on one. Way inside, gets out of the way. Straighten them up a little bit. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Well, well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Brings it in for the third out. Angel strand a couple, and our score remains 2-1. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the veteran outfielder, Teoscar Hernandez. The line to kick the pitch. Strike one. Oh, and one. And that's in the dirt. And a pitch. In the hole, jump throw. Awesome play there. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that ball. And then even more impressive was the throw. Off balance, jump in the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop.
Chris Taylor in the box with one away as he takes ball one. And that's outside. That one misses. And it's 3-0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they'll walk you. Downstairs, nope, and it four. misses Take ball four. That just came apart right there. Four-pitch walk, and guy at the plate was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's Kike Hernandez. That one misses. That's five straight. pitch on the ground two ball the throw to second is offline oh, and now it's Gavin that Lux up. the second base Gavin Lux. Pitch misses inside, and that is ball one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Bottom half of inning number two. That one fouled off. Hey, now the count. One and two after the swing and the miss. Two straight. Ball still one and two count. That's and there's a ball. <laughs> Taylor, the lead runner out at second. Hernandez over at first with one away. Slider misses outside. here as he fouls it away doubled up on the slider away two seamer here let's watch and see three and two payoff pitch three. right through there got him he battled for a long time but it finishes with a strikeout now, now, you can't be mad at yourself after an at bat Mookie. like that one so the batting yeah. order turns over now it's Mookie Betts he walked and came around to score his first time up. Ball that one. misses. One and oh. The shortstop takes the ball. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. Kicks and fires. Back to off the plate that time. Nothing. Hard ground ball, base down. Taylor headed for the plate. Now a long throw home. He's safe. What an aggressive secondary lead. That ball was smoked to left. He had to score from second. Not only great speed, but great instinct as well. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. He's already homered in this game. That pitch gets the inside corner. Going one. Still in the second, already at 44 pitches, so some concern there. Next pitch is downstairs. One and one. It's 
swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And that chance handled. Tosses the first and Freeman is retired. That ends the inning and they limit the damage. But they pick up one run on the RBI single and this is now a 3-1 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine, stepping in the long ball threat, Mike Trout. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. And the pitch. That catches the top part of the zone. That's strike one. Trout getting the start in center. 32 years old. Can't forget to mention he's a former MVP. This one in the air right field. Hernandez has it sized up. And out number one on the grab. Now Brandon. Brandon Drury to the plate. Fly to left his first time. Nope, Just missed. One down, base is empty. Pitch misses there, and it's 2-0. Strike on the inside corner. Swing and a high fly ball in the air left field. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Up next to the angel. The right field. Taylor. And now it's the Angels cleanup battle. Taylor Ward. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Well, and takes low for ball one. Ward no goes six foot one, 200 pounds, usually in left, but today he's starting Eight. in right field. In there for a strike at the top of the zone. Well, the big play, in my opinion, from right field is that throw from right field to third base. Oh, longest great. one in the game, and you got to have a pretty strong arm. Hopefully he can play that one hop nicely if he has an opportunity to throw out a runner. Two outs, base is empty. Next offering upstairs. Three and two now. Swing and a miss struck him out. Angels go down one, two, three. And they still trail it here, three to one. Back here with my we pal Ziggy. And now down. Will Smith. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. There's a strike at the knees. You know, these Dodgers doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Drew. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. The third base is number 13. Let's get the ball by the pitcher. Man. There's a lot of base hits up the middle, oh, even on the ground ball. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. So a man aboard. Max Muncy at the dish. Aye. That one's in there. And that is strike one. misses and now it's even one and one, one. Ball, one Smith on at first nobody out 
Comes up empty. That's strike two. But Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Inside, backs him off again. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. He goes down looking. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 1 so far. When you're struggling out there on the mound, the hitters know that there'll be plenty of opportunities within the at bat to try to get something to hit hard. Man at first, one away. Double play ball to second. Off balance beat. There's one. Throw to first, but he beat it. Tough play right there. Didn't really have enough time to set his feet and make a strong, accurate throw. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now Teoscar Hernandez rolled out to second in his first at bat. Aye. Fastball in for a strike. 0-1. Hernandez, a former All-Star, batting sixth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. Two outs. That That's one misses. And one and one. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A massive home run. It's 5-1. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. Break out the stat cast numbers. It's singing. It tells us this home run was projected at more than 450 feet. Yeah, and not many players can hit home runs as far as this one. That's a special feeling, and I'm sure he was giggling a little bit as he was jogging around the bases. That was one heck of a swing he put on the baseball. Chris Taylor now. That, that misses, and it's one to know. a little bit low clearly he hasn't had it in this game and looks like sooner than later they're gonna have to go to the bullpen 2-0 and another ball and that's a pitch early in this game he needs called for a strike struggling with command issues he's got to get a little help from the umpire And a four-pitch walk. Four pitches. That's an easy walk, man. He could have walked me right there, dude. The last one wasn't even close. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Enrique Hernandez. 0 for 1. He hit into a fielder's choice his first time. And a strike on the outside edge. Good eye right there. behind two and one and 
way through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And Runner takes off. Bounced up the middle. Gets it to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. It's now 5-1. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Out of the fourth, now it's Anthony Rendon. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. The Angels were playing games at home. Instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. You know, these Angels did a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Here's the 0-2. Gets a piece and stays alive. To the right side. Steps on Got first it. for the out. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Mickey Moniak digs in now. He reached out a walk his first time. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Oh, one's the count. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Oh, wow. two. Good luck catching up to that one. One down, base is empty. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Around first, heading for two. And that's a double. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Could be a chance here for them to start clawing back into this ballgame. Logan Ohapi, the next to hit for the Angels. He swings and fouls one off. in there at the knees and that's strike two one out the runner at second top half of inning number four Hits and misses it's a strikeout next to hit Nolan Shanowell one for one with a single so far. That's out to center field. Outman sizes this one up, makes the play, and it's out number three. Angels leave one. They're down 5-1. Here at Dodger Stadium. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin second Lucas. Baseman. Sandoval back to work. And what that's else? downstairs and outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Hit hard on the ground is short. 
The throw to first. And a quick out number one. One unusual now feature of Dodger Just Stadium, Boog, those low balls yeah. in the outfield corners as they yeah. curl towards home plate. Lots of homers and automatic doubles because of them. Here's Mookie to hit. Year in and year out, this guy an MVP candidate. You touched on this, Singy, but Dodger Stadium has become much more hitter-friendly than it used to be. A few decades back, it was probably the most pitcher-friendly ballpark ball in the league. And that skips in the dirt. That's Just missed. The wind and the pitch. Ripped, but it curls foul. Base is empty one away. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's 3-2. Three 3-1 two. Three count. Saying to himself, I've got to get a fastball here. Just spins a get-me-over breaking ball to bring the count full. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. Freddie Freeman now at the plate. He's already homered here in this one. Misses inside, and that's ball one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Jose Suarez, the lefty, looks to be getting himself ready. And it's fouled away. And here it comes. Roll to short. Possible two ball. Off balance That's feed. There's one. Throw to first. Eight. Safe. Up next to the dog. The catcher. Well. Man at first. The batter now will be Will Smith. One for two. That clips a corner. Freeman leads off first with two down to the inning. Left-hand batter waits. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Two consecutive base hits for this team. Fielder got a piece of it, but the way that thing came off the bat, no surprise at all. He couldn't pick it cleanly. It's a very difficult play, and that swing definitely was deserving of a hit. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Patrick Sandoval won't go any further, and he leaves with the bases loaded, so he'll look for some help from his teammate coming in behind him. New arm out of the bullpen, Jose Suarez. Still pretty early in the ballgame, so this bullpen has some work ahead of him. Best case scenario might be if he can come in here and get several quick outs, kind of bridge the gap that starter left for him. Two outs, bases loaded. James Outman getting ready to hit. 
Yeah. Yeah, the first pitch misses for ball no one. one. No Big moment in this game. Two outs, two runners in scoring position, and could really break this thing wide open early. And now two and nothing. Pressure's on right two here. Ball. Two will no count. Ball. Base is loaded. You don't want to fall to a three ball count and then walk in or on. He's got to challenge the hitter right here. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Two outs. Bases are full. Fought off foul. And a ground ball to first. Shadowell takes it himself oh. out to escape a bases loaded jam unscathed. And the Dodgers leave him loaded. They're up 5 1. And we're back. Leading we go to the game top game. of the fifth. Now it's the, the shortstop, shortstop. Zach, Zach Neto. Neto. The right hander back to work. The shortstop takes the ball. You know, these Angels finding ways to get on base, but they still need help driving them home. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Righty delivers. And that's in for a strike. Two balls, one strike. This one lifted in the air, left field, and it stays fair. Now he'll turn for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Just a little hit behind third right there. And that's a really tough play for a third baseman or shortstop to get to. And the same for the left fielder. So he just found a perfect place to drop that one in right there. So up next, Luis Rangifo. There's a strike. No outs. Runner on second. Hey. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Kelly just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Nope. Next pitch is outside. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. Got him. Oh. One away on the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the, the other way. Here, but that time, a little anxious. Trout. Here's Mike Trout. He has, as they like to say, let me guess, Boo. Light tower power? That's right. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. That misses the zone. Ball one. And that one fouled off. Man at second. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Definitely made him chase a little bit out of the zone right there. I don't think that's a strike if he takes it. Pretty textbook pitching. Get ahead in the count. Get the guy in the box on his heels and then force him to chase your pitch where he doesn't have much of a chance to do any damage. Drury up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Ball for a strike and a count one and one. one strike. 
Swings through that one for strike two. One ball. That split is a pretty Three nasty strike. pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. Fouls it off. Still one and two. The Dodgers leading by four. And we're at the top of the fifth. Rip to third, but handled, and that'll end the inning. Angels strand one. They're down here five to one. Back here in L.A., bottom of the inning. Now the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Here comes a pitch. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Oh, and one. You know, these Dodgers putting together some really good at bats in this game. There's been a lot to like with how they're approaching their chances at the plate. It looked to me like they really wanted to get to the starter early, get him out of the game before he settles in. So I'd say mission accomplished. The wind of the pitch. Oh, and that's outside. And it's one and two. And Whoa, another man. ball. Two and two. Can't Wouldn't chase go. that time. And it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. And they'll do it again. Three, two. Swing and a miss, and he got him. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the no strikeout. Problem. Number three. Now it's Just the DH, hitter. Chris Taylor. Taylor. He handles oh. it himself. Two up, two down. The right field, number eight, Kike Hernandez. Kike Hernandez will hit next. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That one way inside. The wind to kick the 2 0. Right through there for a strike. Next ball, offering three. upstairs. Three balls, one strike. And he walked him. They just keep handing out gifts, boo. Are we no supposed bad. to bring some? Uh, See, I think I just bad. our presence yeah, is the present. Here's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Up the middle, Neto. They take the force out. out, and that is the inning. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner left. Five innings complete. It's the Dodgers five and the Angels one. Top of the sixth inning. So now the Angel cleanup hitter, Taylor Ward. The pitch. This isn't a pitcher that softens up when he starts to show signs of fatigue. I mean, his stuff stays sharp. 
makes these at bats more difficult than they normally would be against other pitchers at this stage of the game. And the righty deals. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Lux throws the first in time. Leadoff man retired in the six. Number six, Anthony Rendon. Here's Anthony Rendon up to the plate. Rendon goes six foot one, a member of the 1,000 hit club, a former first round pick back in 2011. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Slapped foul. And the right hander deals. There's a splitter in the dirt, swing and a miss. Got him. Two gone after the strikeout. That's about as nasty of a splitter as you'll come across, especially in terms of movement. I mean, that thing tumbles out of his hand and just drops off the table at the last moment. If he keeps it down, it's just so tough to put wood on. So digging in, Mickey Moniak. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. In safely with a double, his second of the day. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. A well-deserved double on a great swing. Got everything going on time. He stayed balanced, and he squared it up about as well as you could possibly ask. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan O'Hoppy, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. It's in there. Strike one. Man on second, two down. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. Well, oh, that's that slurp right there. He threw it extremely well. He talked about just a ton of breaks. So tough oh, to get that barrel to. And ball one. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Just oh, off the outside Parker. corner. Two and two. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And another ball. Goes down looking for the strikeout. A controversial called strike three to end the inning. So no runs here in a base hit. No errors and one left. Top of the order due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Dodgers five and the Angels one. Bottom of the sixth Lead inning. Off. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. You know, Boog, yeah. Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but that doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. Next offering is in for a strike. The shortstop takes the ball. The count two and one. Wouldn't chase that time. In the air, left side. Moniak puts it away. And there's one away. Now back. First base. Freddie Freeman. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Freddie Freeman. And it was a homer back in the first inning that got his day started at the plate. Yeah, Boog, a two-run blast. His fans were just still getting into their seats here at the ballpark. So if you showed up late to this one, you missed out on a big moment early on.
just missed. And ball another two. ball. Base is empty one away here in the bottom of the sixth. That's hard hit in the line. Moniak pulls it down, and there's two gone. The it was all over the that hit. fastball right there. I'll tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way bad. And now the catcher comes up to him. Will Smith. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. And that extends the inning. Here's Max Muncie, that funky Muncie. First pitch misses. Two outs. Yeah. He's trying to stay away from this lefty, knowing that a lot of left-handers like the ball down and in. The pitch. Hit well. Right field way back. He'll circle the bases. It's 7-1. That's their third home run of the game. They're having a lot of fun at the plate in this one. They've got the long ball working for them on autopilot. See, he was out front just a little bit. Maybe didn't recognize the changeup earlier, but he got the bat head to it, hooked it down the line, and was able to keep it fair for a long home run. Really impressive. Out and stands in now and watches strike one. Two down, nobody on. On the ground, right wow. side, and foul ball. And a pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. All Next one. offering is down low. And that's in the dirt. And now two and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Hanging in there pretty good against the lefty. The two two on the way. That one almost got him. Wow this guy's really battling up there as if. His run is the game-winning run. I love his tenacity. Three. Got it by him for the K. <laughs> that funky Muncie with the homer for L.A. It's now 7-1. Back here at Chavez Ravine. And here's the first, the first baseman, baseman, Nolan Shonwell. Shonwell. Otani back to work. Hey. That clips the corner.
pitch. And that one missing low. This one in the air. Muncie has this one sized up. Calls it in, and there's one away. Zach Neto, the next to hit for the Angels. Smoked on the ground a second. Throw on to Got Freeman, him. and two away to start the seven. The batter number two, second base. Back to the Luis top of the Angels lineup. Red now Rango. it's the Angels' leadoff man, Luis Rangifo. One for three. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. I can't play around with him here. It's a six-run lead. At this point, got to attack Aye. hitters, even if you give up a solo shot. One and one. Headed down the line. Nobody can get there, and it's a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a double at his second hit. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on the line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So two down, and now batting Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything ball over one. their heads. Pitch misses there, ball one. Aye. Right through there for a strike. that one away and we'll do it again man it's second two balls two strikes set down on strikes a controversial called strike three to end the inning this one pretty well decided at this point. Midway in inning number seven, and it's time to stretch. It's the Dodgers seven, and the Angels one. Back here with my pal Siggy, bottom of the seventh. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. And he deals. That's inside. One and oh. Activity of the bullpen for the Angels. Matt Moore up and loosening in the pen. The line to kick the pitch. That one back up the middle and it gets through. And the leadoff man aboard. Well, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but. He did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. So now here's the DH. Chris Taylor. And that drops in for a strike. The 0-1. That's Ball. down and in. Hey. And there's a strike. Two. One ball, two strikes. Hey. 
That nope, just misses, and it's two and two. Two two to count. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Step off throw to first. No, Hernandez back easily. At the belt and fires. Three. Strike three. Got him with the backdoor breaking ball. No, I'd say that was a pretty generous call right there. And when the pitchers get that call, there's really He's not good. much you can do about it as a hitter. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? Guys today are so disciplined to stay with their approach and game plan. Not surprised at all that he took that pitch. Man at first. Now it's the right fielder, Enrique Hernandez. Here's a strike. Swing and a miss. Oh, a two down. In the air to left center, Moniak sizing this one up. Makes the catch for the out. And there are two outs. The batter, the batter number nine, nine. second baseman, Gavin. Lux. Gavin Lux steps to the plate for the Dodgers. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Wouldn't chase that time. Next pitch inside. And that's ball three. Mookie Betts waits on deck. Hernandez off of first with two away. Hey. Pitch in for a strike, and the count is three and one. And four, ball four, four two aboard. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boo. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. New pitcher in the game for the Angels, Matt Moore. And with the big deficit on the scoreboard, he almost has to just put that out of his mind. Every outing matters for relievers and their numbers, but I think it's tough to get up for this type of appearance the same way you would for one in a close game. Here's Mookie now. And first offering is fouled off. The Dodgers up big in this one. Here at the bottom of the seven. Here's a rip to short, but he's there for the third out. Dodgers strand a couple, and they're on top seven to one. Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. J.P. Fire Eisen. Compared to some days, this is a pretty low leverage appearance for him, so he should be fairly free and easy out there. Still have to keep yourself sharp and attack the strike zone. And now the D.H., Brandon Drury. 0 for 3 with three flyouts. And here it comes. Off the plate inside. And that is ball one. Right through there for a strike. Big at bat right here. He did the team thing. Took until he got a strike. Now he's got to go to work. Shorten up that swing a little bit. Do whatever it takes to get on base. And 
and now two and two. And another ball. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Outman settles under it and makes the catch. And there's one away. The right field is number three. Taylor, Taylor Ward, the next to hit for the Ward. Angels. Off the mark there. Ball one. Moving in the bullpen. Alex Vesia looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. The Dodgers up big in this one, and we're in the top of the eighth. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Well, you put good velocity in the head of the hitter. He's got to get it ready early and then change speeds. Keep him off balance. That's the goal. One down, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. That's and downstairs. Looking, and he did not like the call. Anthony Rendell, the next to hit for the Angels, 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. The 0-2. That's a ball. One ball, two strikes, McDowell. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count up at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Kick Sandios. Still two and two after the foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Hex and misses. It's a strikeout. So they make short work of them there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. It's the Dodgers seven and the Angels one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now the number two hitter, Freddie Freeman. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Action in the Angels bullpen. Luis Garcia, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Oh and two now. And well, that one is inside. Oh. 
fly ball down the line and a foul ball. And the pitch. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Wouldn't chase that time. Oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on okay. one hitter. And another ball. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat. Found a way to win the battle. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Next to hit, Will Smith. Foul ball. Freeman gets his lead at first with nobody out. Swing and a pop up. Foul out of play off to the right side. That'll find the stands. Next Whoa, pitch is outside. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right that's now. Ball two. That one missed. Two, two, the count. Kicks and fires. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch spoils that one, and it remains 2 and 2. The pitch goes down looking. Well, it's just a great job of playing catch with the catcher. Exactly where the catcher set up is where he threw that pitch. And right through the umpire a little bit because there was no budget at it. And now Max Muncy. Just off the outside edge. And that's ball one. Breaking ball drops in for a strike. Top of the zone for a strike. Gonna one count ball, one and two. Two strike. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his bat down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Left hand hitter waits. Got Ooh. him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. All interesting. He's looking That's very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff Yay. single. Back to back strikeout. So oh, they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Hey. Outman in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. Up and in. One ball, one strike. Out to short. Neto. They get the force. That is the inning. Here at Dodger Stadium, here's the left fielder, Mickey Moniak. The right-hander back to work. Fire Eisen. In his fourth year, he features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Righty delivers. 
right through there for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. The 1 1. Swing it a foul straight back. Swings and misses, struck him out. And next for the Angels, Logan Ohapi. Three strikeouts already. He's over three. Wouldn't chase that time. One down, base is empty. Swings and misses. And a count one and one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative, but you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. The pitch. And that is cut on and missed. Slider right there. One ball. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay two off ball. of it. Two Way strike. outside. It's two and two. And that's ball. outside. And there's ball Whoa. four. It's tough after falling behind a hitter, two balls and no strikes, but now, now at least he gets a no fresh start way, against a new batter. No but way, he needs to no get no back way, into the strike zone and start pitching with conviction. Shanoel right. batting with one down, one one takes the a strike. The 0 1. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. Drops into the glove. Out number two. The bat number one. Down. Never. So they're down to their final out. Here's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. Right through there for a strike. The Angels with a lot of ground to make up here at the top of the ninth. Whoa, and that's outside. That's one and one. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. This could end it. The one two. Fights it off, you'll see another. And the right hander deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a one two. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Righty to the plate. That one misses, and it's a full count. Three, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Line to left. They'll squeeze it for the final out, and the Dodgers take this one in a blowout.
whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. And a 7-1 finish in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. Seven clubs.